What's up, peeps? Um, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth about working out, how to start. So in one of my uh, earlier videos, I talked about how to lose weight for beginners. Now I'm talking about how to work out for beginners, or even if you're not a beginner, just you want more in depth uh, workout tips. Uh, so first, when I started losing weight, I would just do cardio. I've always done cardio, like playing basketball, uh, ride, riding my bike with friends, whatever. But so if you want to lose weight, you should do cardio. I recommend there's so much different cardio. If you don't like to run, you could try walking, walking a certain amount of steps, walking your dog, swimming, uh, playing basketball, playing football, playing soccer, volleyball, just, just being active. When it going to the mall for an hour, that's going to burn calories. So when we're talking about working out, uh, it's very important that you work out every muscle group. Now, a lot of people, like some people waste their time in the gym, which you don't want to because time is money, time is valuable. You don't want to just do whatever and swing a bunch of weights and ego lift. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, so for lifting weights, if you want to gain muscle, if you want to have a nice body, you don't want to look like Larry the Lobster from SpongeBob, right? You don't want to have like a super broad upper body and then tiny little legs. You want to make sure it's very important to hit every muscle group so you have an overall nice physique. So make sure you hit every muscle group two times per week. You need to make sure you hit your chest, your back, your shoulders, your biceps, triceps, your legs, glutes, calves, everything. So first off, when you go to the gym, you don't need to be there four hours. I might be there just because I love it but you only need a 45 minute workout if you know what you're doing. So again, work out every muscle group twice per week. So for instance, my workout split on Mondays, I hit chest and back. Tuesdays, I do shoulders and arms. Wednesdays, I do legs and abs. So for every muscle group, you wanna do three to five exercises. On each exercise, you wanna do three to four sets. And for every set, you wanna do eight to 12 reps. Uh, there's a lot of talk about whether you should do six reps or 20 reps. But if my goal, it depends on your goals. Some people train for strength, which is typically one to six reps. Some people train for hypertrophy, which is about six to 15 reps. And some people train for endurance, which is like 15 plus reps. I train for hypertrophy meaning I train for aesthetics. I train for the way I look. Okay, so hypertrophy basically just means that you're training for muscle growth and muscle development. So there's a certain rep range you need to hit to get muscle growth and development, which would be about six to 15 reps. Okay, so to reiterate, a little quick overview, work out at least three to four times a week when you're beginning, and then eventually hit five to six days a week and make sure you're training every muscle group twice per week. Make sure you're hitting every muscle group, doing three to five exercises, three to four sets per exercise, and six to 15 reps per set. And if you do that consistently, then if you do that consistently with the diet, you're gonna see results, 100%. But also a lot of people, like they'll work out a lot or consistently, but they don't see progress because they don't progressive overload. So progressive overload basically just means you're training harder and more vigorously each week. So let's say you're lifting weights 50 pounds, right? You're doing it for 10 reps. You do it for 10 reps for the whole exercise, like 10 reps one set, 10 reps the next set, you finish that. The next week, instead of doing 10 reps, do 11, all right? Then the next week you do 12. So you're increasing the reps so in order to progressive overload you either increase the reps of a weight or you increase the weight so progressive overload is how you're gonna not only maintain your muscle but increase your muscle and increase your strength while losing belly fat okay now so this is optional but what I suggest doing if you'd want to is purchase a notebook planner workout planner or workout notebook and here you can uh, keep track of your weight each and every week, uh, the workouts you're doing, how many sets you're doing, how many reps you're doing. That way you can see uh, your progress each and every week. Okay, so now that you guys know 
like the basics on working on lifting weights. Uh, if you want to burn extra fat after your weight session, then do cardio. You don't want to do cardio before you lift weights because you're going to be tired. You're going to waste your energy and you won't be able to lift as heavy. You won't be able to lift as much or as long. And that's going to, you're going to lose out of muscle gains, right? So you do your, your weights first and then do cardio afterward, whether it's uh, on the treadmill or jumping jacks and, 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 you know, jump rope at home, whatever, right? Do any cardio, doesn't matter. Um, but just remember, even though you're gonna work out consistently, make sure you have a clean diet. Because yeah, working out's gonna get you the muscle, but it's gonna be hard to see if you have a bunch of fat on your body because you're eating too much. So make sure you have a combination of a, of a clean diet, eating at a calorie deficit, and lifting heavy weights, training for hypertrophy, and that's what's gonna get you a smaller waist and muscle. That's what's gonna get you that beach body that you so desperately crave, right? Whether you're skinny fat or whether you're, you know, really overweight. Anyways, real quick, a lot of people, I didn't know this. When I first started off, you, you guys probably know more than me when I started, some of you at least. Uh, I knew a little bit about working out and eating right, but I didn't know anything. So I, I talked to personal trainers, I've talked to my doctors, uh, I did research, I looked at different YouTube influencers. So, of course, I want you guys to do research, but at the same time, I'm going to be posting more videos. I'm going to post a more in-depth video about which muscle, which workout hits which part of the muscle, right? So I'm going to show you a certain workout that hits this part of the chest, this part, and this part. I'm going to explain everything because I honestly had like no clue. I had no clue how to lift the weights, how much to lift, what hits what I didn't know anything. I was like, I, was, I knew nothing. So I want to help others who are like me. So I promise you, I'm going to post another video. And I'm going to go more in depth. Um, so if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can see my, my new upcoming videos. And just thank you.